Hello everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at an example of a vector space. And this particular vector space is called the vector space f to the n or fn. So you might be wondering what is f? Well f here is going to be any field like the real numbers or the complex numbers. So let f be a field. And let's go ahead and actually write down what this set is. So it's the set of n-tuples. So fn, or f to the n, is the set of all n-tuples, say a sub 1, a sub 2, dot, 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 a sub n, such that each of these uh, is an element in f. So a i, or a sub i, is an f for i equals 1 to, to n. All right, so these are all n-tuples. And in this case, this is a vector space over f. So here we have that, and I'm gonna show you the operations as well. We have that fn or f to the n is a vector space over f. And so we have two operations in a vector space. And of course, and we have the vector space axioms that have to be satisfied. Let's talk about the operations. So vector addition, that's one of the operations uh, in a vector space. So how does that work? Well, if you take two elements, um, let's, I guess we can use a sub ones and b sub ones. So take a sub one and a sub n and b sub one to b sub n in f to the n then the sum of these vectors, let's say take, is, well, what is it? It's just a sub one, dot, 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 a sub n, plus, and then b sub one, dot, 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 b sub n. Well, what is that? Well, you just do component-wise addition, right? So you just add the corresponding entry. So the next entry would be, I didn't write a sub two, or I didn't write b sub two, but let's just make sure you got it. So I'll write it, it'll be a sub two plus b sub two. And then at the end, you just add the a sub n and to the b sub n there. So a sub n plus b sub n, really nice. That's, that's the vector addition. Uh, now let's look at the scalar multiplication. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you uh, a special case. We'll talk about a special case of this vector space, which is really important. So the scalar multiplication, um, take, you would take a k, let's say an f, that's a scalar, and a vector, say a sub one to a sub n and fn, then the scalar product, I guess, or, or then, let me just say then, I may not call it the scalar product, let's just do k times a sub one, this is scalar multiplication. The operation of scalar multiplication is this. So what you do is you basically distribute the k through all of the components. So it'll be k a sub 1. And then I didn't write it, but I'll write it here on purpose. k a sub 2. And then the last one would be k a sub n. So that's the operation of scalar multiplication. Um, the zero vector here, so the zero vector is just zero. And I'm going to put an arrow on it. You don't have to, but you could, or a bar. Uh, if it's in a textbook, it's in bold. Uh, the zero vector would be the vector whose entries are all zeros, right? Every single one, right? This would be uh, the zero vector. And given uh, any element, um, you know, you could find uh, an inverse element, right? So given, say given a sub one, a sub n, and fn, then this vector here, negative a sub one, to negative a sub n is an fn. And when you add these, what happens? You're gonna get the zero vector, right? Let's do it. So you would get a sub one to a sub n plus negative a sub one, negative a sub n. And then using our definition of vector addition, we would use component-wise addition, right? So it would be a sub one plus negative a sub one. And then dot, dot, dot. And then a sub n plus negative a sub n. And when you add these, you just get zeros, dot, 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 zero. 
which is our zero vector, right? Which is our zero vector. Uh, another notation for this, you could you could put the negative outside, right? Because via via scalar multiplication, it's the same. So I could actually write this as well if I wanted to, and this would be correct and perhaps even more informative, um, perhaps, right? Extra extra knowledge, right? This is the same as this. This is a scalar product, right? Scalar multiplication, keep saying scalar product, but scalar multiplication is happening here, right? So, yeah, really nice. So uh, I promised I'd talk about a special case. Uh, the special case is uh, the following. So you have a special case here, special case. Going kind of quickly here. And uh, the special case is when, uh, when f equals r, okay, the real numbers. In this case, so he, in this case, what happens is that r to the n is a vector space over r. And this is this is this is perhaps perhaps the most important example. Uh, this is a vector space that's studied heavily uh, in analysis and stuff. So this is perhaps the most. This is a more general. Uh, example of, of this, but yeah, hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, hope you learned some mathematics. Hopefully uh, some of this made sense. If anything made sense, that's great. And if all of, made, if all of it made sense, that's great as well. Uh, subscribe if you want. I have I have courses. They're on my website. Uh, actually, they're actually on Udemy, but uh, if you get them, use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. I've got courses on all kinds of math. So all kinds of stuff, abstract algebra, calc one, two, three, differential equations, college algebra, trig, etc. Anyways, take care.